you think you're going to sleep, you can't because we are going to brighten things up considerably. We've got the fantasy boys with us here, David Baddiel and Frank Skinner, and I can't do anything but ask you what you think about the Maradona situation. Well, I think it's one of the saddest pieces of football news I've ever heard because I've got 20 quid on Argentina to win. I can't believe he's done it. He's, well, he's so selfish. It. He's denied it, you know, so he, might, he said he didn't do it. Apparently it was the, the drugs cocktail of God. Which is what they found. <laughs> I, I can't believe, right, that he thought he wasn't going to get tested. What do you think? Oh, they won't test me. Not with my record. No chance. It doesn't strike you that the intelligence, the old IQ, is too clever, does it, really? No. I don't think so. But, you know, he's a man of his word, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he isn't. Sorry. I've been waiting eight years for this. I'm quite chuffed, really, in, in a strange sort of a way. You think that finally he's got his comeuppance? Well, you know, I mean, he's a great player and everything. I mean, you know, he's got skill and he's got a great shot. Apparently, he can hit a photographer from about 30 yards with an air rifle. <laughs> so, I was quite interested in, in Alan's idea that uh, they should reverse the Nigerian result because he could have been on drugs when they played England in 1986 and then we could re reverse that result and then we would have won the World Cup in 1986. That's they an interesting thought. Yeah. Can Set Blatter do that? If Seth Blatter can do anything. <laughs> well, apparently you can hit him over the head without any compunction <laughs> as well. <laughs> that can't be right. I'm going to move you on, uh, Charles, because I'm... Is it true that Maradona landed in, in Argentina two and a half hours before the plane? <laughs> is that a rumour? <laughs> <laughs> Entirely possible. Oh, yeah. good. Now, I know you two are as interested as uh, all of us, as Alan and myself, David, who's disappeared somewhere. <laughs> he's uh, a big fan, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that every, what it is? Every time he comes on, <laughs> or these two come on, David goes off. Yeah, that's twice yeah, he's done that, is not it? And he's telling me he's got a bit of asthma. Yeah, I'm going to get a complex about this, are you? <laughs> But talking of the Irish and David, I mean, you're as interested in, in uh, Jack Charlton and the Irish and the progress, aren't you? Well, we've become totally... Uh, I actually, I've got my Irish shirt now, which I wear in the flat for every game. It's getting a bit smelly, mm. but we have become big-time Irish fans. And they've been brilliant, I think. I've really, really enjoyed it. Although um, I was uh, reading, there's some strange rumours going around about Paul McGrath having a, having a drink drinking problem. And uh, we've been looking into this, and he has got a bit of a drinking problem. Look at that, that's, that's all over the place. That. And in the oh, end, he just gave up. He just gets oh, annoyed and frustrated, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that must be very annoying. Well, it? there's been a lot of talk about you know, drinking and how to get water to the players. And one thing they've been trying out is uh, giving players opal fruits, apparently. And uh, we can see Roberta Badger, he's sucking an opal fruit. And you know what opal fruits do. Um, there you are, you see. <laughs> that advertising slogan is absolutely right. They're really, it's true, that's, that's, that's interesting. They really do make the mouth water. Yeah, they they do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for Thanks filling for in. I got it. Didn't <laughs> get that one. That's the impressive. It's it's like like joke number two in this <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, hey. I've got to be careful. You're cooking. <laughs> oh dear. Of course, some of the players after the games have had trouble giving samples, apparently. And apparently, Tommy Coyne spent two and a half hours desperately trying. So Ireland have adopted the Blue Peter. Here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> approach. And uh, that's the uh, best bet. Yeah, there you so go. I hope they don't get them mixed up because you wouldn't want to drink no, one of those. No, no, please. That'd be dreadful. Of course, Maradona would have got his right hand for one of them. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was uh, his left hand that did the damage, so we'd have forgiven him. Of course, Jack Charlton was complaining about not being on the touchline, and he wasn't. He actually said he didn't know why FIFA were complaining about him being on the touchline. But the regulations state very clearly that you're not actually allowed to have a miniature or dwarf version of yourself standing by you on the touchline, and you but can there's see one. Oh, there's one yeah, quite clearly. One there. I mean, they've reversed the baseball cap in an effort to make <laughs> him look like he's not quite the same, but he, he's the same, and eventually the FIFA officials got really cross about this and just insisted that he went off. Um, you'll see, there you go, Jack's very annoyed right they're, they're saying, go, he's got to go. Oh, that's unfair. I mean, the football has been out of work since the Benny Hill show. <laughs> <laughs> And another thing about the, uh, the Argentines and their medication is that Batistuta apparently hasn't been getting his dandruff medication. And this has caused all sorts of problems, certainly during the Nigerian. Oh, look at that. That's a. Oh, dear. That's Could a we mess. get any special shampoo for oh, that? Oh, it's gone all over the goalie and everywhere. And in, in the second half, it got even worse. I mean, look at that. Oh. That's it's actually that's slippery to play on, isn't that, it? That oh, can't that's be right to be playing on that dried skin. Like that, actually, I, I remember that game because there was a. That was Argentina and Nigeria. And uh, talking about things on people's heads. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there was, there was what do you a, mean? I remember a Nigerian fan during this game. And there he is. Look at that. Was he sitting at home and he looked at his arm? and he thought, I know, I'll take that to the game, put it on my head and play it. <laughs>
it's, Tony Hawk? It's not Jan Argafiorta. Hurrah! Oh, hey! Oh, 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 out of nowhere! It oh. might be a dull gay viewers, but you heard that joke. All over Britain, the people are saying, I think I'll stay up after all, though. <laughs> That's quite cheery. Are Marvelous. you coping with these two all right, Alan? Is this what you call humour, Bob? Oh, <laughs> too many defenders <laughs> on the programme tonight. Really. <laughs> hey, O'Leary, Wilson, and Hanson all on the same show, sitting here saying nil nil draw. Brilliant, sir. <laughs> Brilliant. Never a defender. Don't well, goal these qualifiers, no. sir. I thought sort of. They not provide the entertainment, don't they? Well, they do. They're all wig. mad, aren't they? <laughs> Of course, the wig's out again, which you spotted yeah, it's great last to week. See. Yeah, Bob yeah. could have done with that wig. Oh, no, Alan, Alan that's, that's cruel. That's, that's harsh. Is it? Yeah. Now, the Bulgarian <laughs> goal, is, goal this week is fantastic. And there's a, there's a, who's the bloke up front for Bulgaria who doesn't wear a wig? Ends with V, I think his name. Oh, Alan. <laughs> of. That's him, yeah. That's yeah. Him, yeah. yeah. Do you think yeah. he looks at the goalie and thinks, oh, I might try one of them <laughs> next game. Let's see. It's the really it's the worst. Anyone who is going to stay up should watch the goalie's wig especially, because you notice he's he sort of pulled it out a bit, it's become a bit of a sunshade. Well, someone, someone said it was a hair, tra hair transplant, you said it was a hair transplant, well, but that's, that's not a hair transplant, Bob. It's a wig. I know, because you've been looking at catalogues and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had an interesting <laughs> statistic the other day, apparently, if you laid all the yellow cards that's been shown in the World Cup end to end, that parking restrictions in America would be very seriously affected. <laughs> And on that note, did you? Really <laughs> I did. I read that. Have you taken any nasal sprays recently or anything? <laughs> Not for all oh, twenty-five minutes. Then. Mm. Frank, I think we'll all be taking them before the end of this. Frank, day. David, I'm going to have to stop you because, uh, you know, I mean, your entertainment here has provided us a lot more than we've had for the. Be gutted that the Germans have gone out. <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible thing. Only the rest of the world's going yabba dabba do at this very moment. <laughs> what did you think about the game generally? Uh, I thought it was. What, what did you think? I think Germany had, had just started to look good in the World Cup. Actually, Klinsmann, who oh, I've had a go at on here before for falling over, has actually started playing some good football and looked great. And the bloke uh, Hassler, Hessler, whatever you want to call it, midfield looked fantastic, which makes them going out even better <laughs> in a way. Yeah. There, was a, uh, there was a dodgy moment actually for the Bulgarian goalie. Oh, that was scary. Mikhailov at one point. We worried about this. See, the ball comes across here. And he grabs hold of it, and there's a very dodgy moment there. Now, you see, that could come off. It would be terribly <laughs> embarrassing for him. He'd be stuck to his hand with the toupee glue. Well, you want to be careful, because apparently he's been very touchy about uh, jokes about his wig. And he claimed, he actually complained to FIFA that some players had been writing remarks on their shirts about his wig. About, and, about and, the yeah, wig itself. Having a bit of a go at him. <laughs> and, and you see there, uh, Rog Airy was oh. one of the people <laughs> who he mentioned in his report. <laughs> Terrible. And apparently uh, Roy Wiggly as well, he had, <laughs> he had a go at He's got very touchy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the thing is, actually, he's, he's set up a whole business, apparently, based on, on selling uh, wigs rather like his. He, he's got a whole range. And he really struck gold in this match the other day because the officials were really in need of them. <laughs> you can see them here, and they're saying, "Can you get us a few?" And this bloke isn't, you know, me they're as well. They're queuing up there, though. He actually struck gold with that lot. We he just did. had a message, by the way. Alexi Lalas has just been on the the line asking about his uh, who? his kit. Who? Who? You not heard no, of it? No, no. I, we like, I heard that Alexi Lalas actually is uh, he's moving to Crystal Palace. I don't know if there's any truth. It's in the paper today. Is it? I just wonder if he goes to places that he rhymes with, you know. <laughs> and he's also moving to Dallas, apparently. Yeah. And he's got a very big falcon, uh, someone was telling me, at his place. But that's there was a moment of terrible tension in the studio there. Oh, just for a second. <laughs> yeah. I no, think we should move on. He's it. supposed to be going to Palace. So that'd be, but I'd love to see how he does in, in the Premier League, actually. Because he's a, he's a belter. Yeah. Arian Goley watched that game and thought, I must give Thomas Revelli a phone call. Well, Stick him a catalogue in the post. <laughs> I think he would be very pleased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perhaps he'd ordered something already. <laughs> I don't think Brazil has... I'm a bit surprised that people have made as much fuss about Brazil as they have, because I don't think they've looked that great in the tournament, to be Not honest. Not even against you? No, well, well I thought... Like, <laughs> you look really good in this I tournament, I think. We nearly stopped them, didn't we? No, yeah. I really don't. I don't think they've been that impressive, but they're very relaxing, these. I might... Uh, I've got a sudden urge to sing a folk song. Don't have you got an acoustic guitar? I sadly. About plans for England's future. Oh, right. And um, he's... One thing I think that's been slightly wrong with it is it's been slightly too well organised, because I like games where the pitches are too muddy and there's dogs running onto the pitch and that kind of thing. And there's only one instance so far of a dog getting onto the pitch in the, during the Nigerian game. <laughs> Here you can see it. And, uh, is that a dog on the Yeah, pitch? it is. Look, 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 oh, look. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite You're clearly. You're right. And also an interesting thing is there was a guest appearance by the American superhero Condom Man. I don't know if you saw him. He turned up at one of the games. And uh, he's obviously a, a big champion of, uh, of safe 
There he is. Oh, yes. <laughs> and apparently he, he stormed out in a huff when he heard that um, Ronald Koeman had got his 76 Dutch cap. So it's a rivalry thing, I suppose. But it, it's a very well organised tournament and the attendance has been brilliant. And it's been, it's been a very difficult thing for seating arrangements, uh, apparently. And uh, people take up the ground. And this guy here is very annoyed. He's saying, you know, I'm absolutely certain that I've got a reservation. <laughs> That's I can only congratulate Thank you, you very on that, much. Well Thank done. you, everybody. Well done. Shall I go now? But I was, uh, I was chuffed that the Bulgarians have done so well. And uh, I noticed that the Bulgarian president made a speech tonight saying that he thought it was getting rid of communism and getting democracy. Yes, he said done that. It, mm. Which is why England, obviously, have... Uh, anyway, <laughs> but I, I noticed that the, when they were lining up here, you see, as soon as they get into a line, a bloke walked past with a loaf of bread and old habits <laughs> die hard. They formed a queue immediately. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Let's hope they got a, at least a slice. Yeah. Each. Anything else, David? Yeah. Well, uh, I, as I've said on, on this program before, I had twenty pounds on Argentina, and uh, I was terribly upset to see Maradona go. Did you also have a fiver on, on Romania? Romania as well? Yeah. And yeah. a fiver on? Yeah, I had five thousand pounds on England. Uh, so you, the tournament you're, as well. So you're blaming Maradona here? Yeah. Well, Maradona, you see, it's, it's taking drugs. I think that, that's ruined him. But he has, in fact, as you may know, you may have heard, he's been allowed back into the stadium to commentate. Argentine Raider, here he is. <laughs> and really, I must get hold of some of that stuff. He's not the same <laughs> man, though. That, that, the weight's still dropping off him. <laughs> yeah. It's working. That's it. Diet pills. But certainly, the, I think the most controversial moment of the week was, was Zola's sending off in the Italy um, Nigeria game. And there it was. People said that it was unfair. Cause here he comes in now with this the tackle. There's Zola. And people said, oh, it was unfair. He didn't do anything wrong, really. But I had a look back through the records, and I found that uh, he, does a, he does this a lot, you know, Zola. And I've got it, uh, here he is in Los Angeles. Look, <laughs> look, there he goes, look, the leg again. Uh, and, oh, it's know, a very similar move, isn't he's it? He's always doing it, Always, it? yeah. Something he's got planned, clearly. But at least Mary Decker knows how to look injured. Well, that's the thing, a brilliant moment. The brilliant thing about that is Zola didn't actually touch the Nigerian bloke, and he makes a terrible error, which is when you have it, you should look as if something's wrong, <laughs> at least. This <laughs> is a bloke on a hammock on a sunny afternoon. This bloke said, I've seen much worse tackles than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So there you oh, go. Dear. As we're talking about it, we've talked about Brazil, Sweden. I think we should mention the other semi-final, Italy, Bulgaria. Have you got a, a view on that? An overview? There's a great thing, An actually. underview? The, the, I just got a... This has just come, just come, come in. in. It's From on the, the Bulgarian tape. president. The to Bulgarian you. president stopped all the TV programmes on Bulgaria tonight, and I bet they're crackers, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and did a live speech saying, uh, oh, well, this is absolutely... I'm not making this up. And he, he said, uh, he said uh, what we watch this evening is no accident. So obviously, casualty was probably honest what he interrupted. <laughs> what we watch this evening is no accident. This is a natural result, mm. you know. Congratulations, brother Bulgarians, and forward to a full victory in the World Cup. Now, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't brother Bulgarian in the Wombles? <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he's gone absolutely so chopped. Yes, he was. You can't imagine, you know, the Queen suddenly stopping uh, Coronation Street and saying, well done, West Brom, for Great buying my Uncle Field. Bulgaria. Great Uncle Bulgaria. Well, well done, Bob. <laughs> Good God. Bob knows about the Wombles, yeah. everybody. He used to do the song, you mentioned. Well, did he? Yeah. What songs? Uncle oh, 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 Bulgaria. He can <laughs> Steve, can you match this? What about Italy, Bulgaria, very briefly? Well, I've said Italy wouldn't get through any stage, and now they're in the semi final. So uh, I'll, I'll back against them again and I'll probably get the. 1970 final reproduced, which would be Brazil, Italy. Is that what you really believe might happen? I think so, yes. I, th I think so. Yeah. But I'll still say Italy, no. Yeah. Steve, you used to advertise Gillette, didn't you? You can give us a hand with this. <laughs> you used to advertise yeah, Gillette. Yeah, Gillette G2 gives you the old one tooth. You know what I mean? Is that Steve Koppel? That was you, well, it, Steve, yeah. yeah. Look at that, look at that, clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've only just started using them. Frank, I have to say that you look like Lalas. But mm. David, Outside. you look like David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you do, do you still look at me. I have like to stop you. Know, you. I've got a full speed General, on. General, I have to stop you. Thanks for being with us, Steve.